0860002032 that's the number to dial give us a call what are your reflections on this conversation that we're having right now uh, and uh, and coming out of the ANC January 8th statement do you perhaps have a view so here are the priorities for the ANC for 2023 renewal of the ANC is number one resolving the energy crisis and, and, and load shedding is number two economic reconstruction and recovery to create jobs is number three Number four on the ANC's list of priorities is improvement of service, basic service, basic services and service delivery. And number five, strengthening the fight against crime and corruption. Kanye, are those the right priorities to have in this year? Look, I think from the six that you've read, um, Oliver, about half of those are inward looking, focused on, on, on the ANC and resolving some of the challenges of the ANC. And already that can tell you, you know, the center is not holding because you now have a split focus between the national issues and, you know, equitably split with internal um, organizational matters, matters of the India, organizational matters of the ANC, which really should have been resolved by the ANC by taking very, uh, you know, uh, abject steps to resolve some of these things, these issues of factionalism, these issues of uh, internal divisions, the, the, the issues of internal corruption, and if they were to take principal stance and apply their policies uh, properly internally, apply their systems and processes, consequence management, apply their constitution, those things don't take so long for them to be resolved and also feature in this. The country is beset by real strategic challenges, Oliver. Load shedding is crippling the economy. It's uh, decimating small business. It is a problem that needs the ANC's 100% attention. So when they are so inward looking 50% of the time, the country suffers as a result of that. So for that reason, I'll say these are not the um, strategic focuses, uh, the, the focus for the ANC in the upcoming year. The country needs the ANC as the government party to take um, Sorry, I was getting out of it. Um, the, 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 the country needs the ANC to take a much more stronger focus on the issues that affect the country and to relegate to second base those that affect the organization or leave those to its own Secretary General to deal with it. Right, right. But what I want you to reflect on what the Kanye just said is I'll come to you on a response to that on the other side of this. It's 10.30. Let's take a news headlines with me on the moment. Oliver, in your headlines, the health department has reiterated that it is not yet considering imposing COVID-19 related restrictions following the detection of the new XPP.15 sub-variant sub in the country. The Stellenbosch University, which detected the country's first case of the variant, has described it as the most transmissible to date with symptoms close to that of Omicron. ANC Deputy President Paul Mashatile has denied breaking pot protocol by speaking to the media after President Cyril Ramaphosa Ramaphosa's reading out of the January 8th statement on behalf of the NEC. Mashatile made an impromptu impro impro address after Ramaphosa's address at the party's 111th year anniversary celebrations in Mangawu. And four people have died when the vehicle they were travelling in collided with the truck on the N4 toll route outside Mpombela in Kumalanga. Mpumalanga's Department of Community Safety, Security and Liaison spokesperson, Vietti Mbusi, says all the four victims were occupants of in the light vehicle. I'll have details on these and other stories at 11. Oliver has your SAFM market update. When you mark us this hour, the rand is trading at 17 rand 4 cents to the dollar, 20 rand 70 to the pound, and 18 rand 21 to the euro. Markets in Asia ended mixed, but Japan's were closed due to a public holiday. The JSE is in mid-morning trade is a little bit higher, while markets in Europe are slightly up at this hour. At this hour, gold is trading at $1,874, and platinum at $1,092 per ounce. The price of Brent crude oil is at $80.40 a barrel. SAFM has signed a code of conduct that is enforced by the Broadcasting Complaints Commission of South Africa. Under the code, we are committed to giving news that is accurate, comment that is fair, and programming that is not harmful.
does not amount to hate speech or contain violence or explicit sex. If you think we are not living up to that code, then you can inform the Broadcasting Complaints Commission of South Africa. Direct any complaints in writing to the Broadcasting Complaints Commission of South Africa. PO Box 142365, Craig Hall 2024, Fax to 011-326-3198 or an email to bccsa at nabsa.co.za. For more information, please visit www.bccsa.co.za. for 2023. I asked Lukanyo, are those the right priorities to have this year? His argument was no, half of them are inward looking and that will land the party in trouble. What's your take? I think one of the things um, those priorities, things that were said, I mean, uh, last year, you know, I mean, I've given an example of the social compact, you know, um, that we spoke about last year, even uh, the likes of, uh, from our president, Bob and Bates, you know, speaking that he even mentioned it in his corner and uh, he didn't even act. He only acted when uh, uh, former President um, Becky, you know, he spoke that there's nothing from government in terms of movement towards uh, the social compact, you know. And social compact is more about also fighting poverty, fighting unemployment, you know. 
but there is no political will, you know, it's um, implementing these things. And I can tell you, I was talking to some people yesterday at Madlet, you know, and, and asking them what is happening, you know, how far is that process? And I think they the same thing because there is no state direction in terms of how to implement it, um, this, this social compact, you know, mm. and, and he, he comes and he talks about it, you know. Mm. And, and that's the thing that he doesn't have clear uh, ideas of how to do, you know, he's got very beautiful ideas, but when it comes to implementation, he's just uh, curious of what to do, and that's why we have this social compact thing. And I think I admit not moving, you know, yeah, yeah. he only starts to move on it because uh, from a place of they just uh, raise issues about it because uh, the unemployment rate is too high in this country, the rate is too high, you know, and, and, and you can't continue to have a situation where that also breeds crime because for me to fight crime, you need to create jobs so that people are not vulnerable to go to for survival, you know. People must know that there are jobs, you know, uh, the poverty line is too, is that the high mm. is that I agree that it is at this present moment. But it's a nice uh, which point that he's just really repeating everything that he's doing in last year. Uh, that social compact once again came up in this JNA statement. Cyril uh, Ramaphosa has been president of South Africa for what, seven years just about now? Six plus? Uh, Lucano, six plus years later on and we still don't have a social compact. Is it time to give up on that thing or is it conceptually in, in the political science, what is it even, depending on who you speak to in business, labor, uh, civil society and government, you may receive a different answer about what they think the social compact is. We really should not take that long, Oliver, to put people together in, 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 in a room at Netflix for them to um, get out the social compact that they need us to the, the, the situation that we commonly have for South Africa. Um, but there's not 